Alright everybody, I'm running out of film room here. I should have cleaned off another tape, but uh basically I already cleaned off this with my uh soldering iron and then I used solder wick over it a couple times. Um removed any of that bumps that were bulging out, it seemed like they were bulging out and that weren't flat. You gotta do that. Um so now I'm gonna put a thin layer of the Kimbo flux on, uh put my chip on, um Line it up, you want the white all the way around, be able to see a little piece of white on all four corners. Put it back on the machine, do the same exact process that I did in the beginning. Once it hits 110, swing it over, um, on fast reflow on both of them. And then I'm, gonna go, I'm probably going to let it get up to about 180, 185 degrees, because uh, I'm using leaded solder now, which has a lower melting point. Um, and then uh, I'm going to put it back, hook it up, and uh, hopefully show you that it works. Alright, I got it on the board. It's uh, starting the uh, fast reflow on the bottom heater. Um, like I said, when it gets to 110 or about 90 degrees, I'll switch the upper heater to fast reflow, let it start heating up. And then once it hits to 110, I'll swing it over. And then I've got the alarm set at 185. Um, so it should kick off and kick the fan on at that point and I'll move it on over. Let it cool off and then I'll come back. I should have it all hooked up. Well, not all back together, but I'll have the LCD screen and the memory and the CPU and everything in it. Uh, and we'll try to power it on and see if it works. Okay, so when you get to about 185 degrees Celsius, keep an eye on the chip underneath of the balls and you will see the chip actually drop and when you see it do that it's time to move the upper heater that's when you know the balls have been liquefied and they have went into the pads so right now all I got is uh, the heat sink, the CPU, the heat sink back on, the fan hooked up one stick of memory in, the power hooked up back to the board the power on button with the cable that goes to the board to turn the power on and the cable that goes to the lights just so we can see the lights again and the LCD is hooked back in so drum roll moment of truth lights are on fan is spinning and look at that works like a glove fits like a glove I should say so that's how that's how it works ladies and gentlemen it's saying system not found because there's no hard drive in there or operating system not found on the normal message so this is uh, Matt at fixit at fixmygpu.com showing you this is what we do this is what I do um, on a normal basis if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to get a hold of me. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And if you're interested, just go to the website, fixmygpu.com, and send me your system or contact me beforehand and get, let me know what the symptoms are. And uh, I will help you out as much as I can. Thanks a lot. Bye.